what's going on everybody welcome back to a brand new video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to overclock your computer and get some free fps in your games because who doesn't love more performance free performance free fps you know so yeah without further ado let's get right into it shall we the last video i made on this topic did pretty well i got so they got oh god that's dangerously close to six 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 but anyways uh it did pretty well i got about seven thousand views uh yeah it did pretty well but yeah now there's some things that have changed and some things that have not and also i just want to make an updated higher quality version for you guys so yeah let's get right into the process Okay, so starting off, I know this is a 2009 benchmark, but it's what everybody uses, and it's still a good benchmark to say the least. You're going to want to go to the link down below in the description. You'll be able to download the Heaven benchmark, and uh, this is what we're going to use to see when we push our GPU too far. And by the way, this is a safe overclocking method. MSI Afterburner physically won't let you do anything to hurt your card. Obviously, you'll have higher temps, but it'll comp it'll automatically compensate for that with fan speeds. Okay, so you're going to want to download this. Once again, link in the description. And secondly, you're going to want to download MSI Afterburner, or if you can download the EVGA cool, but I'm going to use Afterburner because I am more comfortable with that. You just have to click download Afterburner and it's going to download. However, I don't want it to download because I already have it installed as you can see right here. Let's get right into overclocking. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see here, we have no overclocks applied. I do have one saved, I believe. Yes, that is the saved profile. I'm just going to reset that though. I don't have that turned on so that it turns on when my computer boots up, which I do need to do. So yeah, you're going to start with something that looks similar to this. You might start with another profile. Firstly, what you're going to want to do, you see all these options you have here. You have your power limit and you have your temp limit. You're just going to want to drag that to the right. That will increase your power limit to 109% and your temp limit to 90 degrees Celsius so that your GP will boost higher until it hits those marks. This will make your fan noise louder if you don't want louder fan noise or if you don't want your fan noise to get as loud. Um, at not doing any overclocking, your fan noise is going to compensate. It's going to go up. This will just make it so you can get the maximum performance. So just drag it all the way to the right. And as you can see, it doesn't matter if you drag one, you drag both. So yeah. And now what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to apply that. All right, so once you have everything downloaded, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run them. This applies to the both of them. I'm not going to go through the setup for MSI Afterburner. Okay, and now you're just going to want to make sure you accept the agreement. I must enter a name, not you. All right, now it's installed. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run it, agree to the thing. You're going to want to make sure you're using DX11 or you can use OpenGL. I like DX11 since most games that I play are DX11, aside from Minecraft. But, you know, uh, the higher the quality, the more GPU demanding it is. So I would recommend to put it on high or ultra. Teslization, like it makes the game look so much better, but lowers performance like zero and anti-aliasing will do x8 all right and make sure it's not full screen so that you can tab back and forth freely and you're going to want to run it also if y'all want a tutorial on how to get this let me know and once you're in we're not going to click on the benchmark a lot of people like to use this benchmark but i'm not going to use it why is my obs lagging probably because i'm on the highest of high settings so you're all going to have to bear with me yeah just open up your msi afterburner and start adjusting sliders so as you can see we're getting about 120 fps it's going to change with every scene but um, if we apply this to 10 FPS, 130, 103, 102. So yeah, as you can see, that kind of helped a little bit if we get like a similar scene with most sky. Um, but yeah, you're not going to be able to notice it just from the power draw because it's not using the full power potential of everything. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start going up by 20, 10 or 20 each time on the core until your game until it crashes until it freezes once it freezes down clock it to the last stable overclock and start going up by fives so i'm just gonna sit here and do this and y'all can watch a time lapse of it okay so as you can see i act i may might or might not have accidentally crashed it by overclocking it too high so once it crashes you're gonna want to go back to the last stable overclock i was going really fast and i know that my last stable overclock is about 170 however i do know that 170 is a stable overclock for running the heaven benchmark but when i do get into games like fortnite or valorant it will end up crashing if this happens for you don't worry just go back and adjust it back 20 or 30 more megahertz and i know that 150 is a safe overclock for me on my core and then once you do that you're going to want to start going up by like 100 150 on your memory and go keep going until it crashes for me i know that it's about 750 is where i crash on the memory or 800 is about where i crash on the memory so i just toned it back by 50 and once you do end up crashing on the memory tone it back by 50 each time like i did and yeah you will end up with a pretty good overclock and let's see how many frames i get now so remember, keep in mind, I was getting 
one, 100 to 200 FPS before on my settings. Okay, we're still getting about 100 frames. The 100 frame area. I'm waiting for this sky scene. Let me get this sound out. I hate sound. Yeah, this increased by 20 to 30 frames right here. And then the sky scene... Yeah, this was at like 180 before, I believe. We increased that by like 50, 60 FPS almost. And I know that this was like sub 100s. This was like 80s. And yeah, we're up. So overclocking, very simple technique, very simple process. And um, some people go crazy with it. And uh, this was at about 110 before. And yeah, we're doing pretty well. But um, also, you can edit your fan curves. I personally am just going to leave my fan curve the way it was. And... Uh, yeah, that for the new guys. That's it for me for today. Overclocking, very simple, very easy. If you all have questions, feel free to leave them down below. But yeah, that's it for me, and I'm out. Peace. Kill him! No! Wait, no. Edit the door. Oh. Oh, what a clutch! Watch out! They could try and glide into the cars. Hey. Yep. No, yes. dude, you're not supposed to go outside. He ditched it right here, right here. In the passenger seat, one shot. <laughs> oh my god! Really bad. Get me. Two seconds. Get get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. One health. One health. Woo. Yo, I don't have shotgun bullets. And I had just gotten a better assault rifle too. Oh man. I see. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. Don't, 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 don't. They're pushing. I don't know if you hear them, but you did. <laughs> Clip it, Jess. <laughs> Last player standing. One enemy remaining. Yo, what? <laughs>